SANS is a Max for Live device for reshaping your sound by simulating and then abusing digital sampler technology. Modeling the digital to analog and the analog to digital converter of an 8-bit sampler, SANS scrambles, skips, and inverts each bit to introduce mind-numbing violence to your signal. It is weird. Let's get into it. SANS models an 8-bit converter, making measurements of the amplitude of the incoming signal. One bit can give us two measurements, silence or clipping. Two bits can give us four measurements, silence or clipping, and then two more in between. Three bits can give us eight measurements. Four bits gives us 16. Eight-bit audio gives us a total of 256 measurements. Let's start making sounds. The bit matrix is our center of control. The x-axis represents our inputs, and the y-axis represents our outputs. The default state of the device sounds relatively clean. It should sound like your original signal, but with a higher noise floor and a slight drop in fidelity, especially as the sound gets quiet. Let's move bit one, representing the quiet signal around the noise floor, to the position of bit six. Here's the third bit, at the position of bit 8. You can turn off different bits by command clicking on any of the currently activated bits in the matrix. This will distort your sound like a bit crusher, but unlike a normal bit crusher, you can turn off higher bits while leaving the lower ones unaffected. If you option command click any of the bits, this will mean that the changes that would normally activate that bit will turn it off, and any change that would turn it off will now turn it on. This means that the measurement system becomes deliberately incorrect, creating unusual distortion patterns as the converter misreads the amplitude values in a consistent but inverted way. SANS is equipped with modifiers for shifting the matrix column and row, as well as flipping bit state and inversion. was created by examining and then emulating various digital filter designs from samplers in the late 1980s. It starts as a high shelf filter, morphs into something resembling a bandpass filter, and then, at the bottom of the range, becomes a high shelf filter again. This filter never fully removes any of the top end, which preserves some of the sonic carnage caused by the rest of the device. On to the companders. When we convert sound into bits, the weighting of those bits is typically linear. Our hearing, however, is exponential. Companders map the signal across the input and output bits more accurately to how we hear. Companders are one reason that sending your audio through a bit crusher doesn't instantly result in the sound of vintage digital audio equipment. So that's sounds. Sands is not the plural form of sand. It almost always refers to a desert, like Ballard's Vermilion Sands. It's circuit bending, right inside of Ableton. Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> 